Good evening, everyone. I think we'll kick off now. Um, uh, not a bad uh, turnout. There's still a few empty seats. Um, but, uh, yeah, good turnout. I see that uh, Axie Flux uh, is uh, words that bring a crowd. My Axie Flux brings all the boys to the yard. Um, yes, all right, well, um, great turnout. Um, there's uh, some uh, past event that uh, I'd like to tell you about. We had Around the Garages on um, last uh, Sunday um, at, uh, at uh, Rebecca's uh, business, uh, Rev Bikes, and uh, we had about about a dozen uh, of the Spawn Riders turn up in their um, weird and wacky uh, um, electric bike assortment of vehicles, <laughs> and uh, also uh, some members here of the EV group. But I must say that um, uh, I was hoping that we would get a lot more um, people from the EV group turning up to the around the garages because my um, feeling has been in the past that there's been a lot of uh, expression of interest for doing around the garages and now this is the first one that we've done um, uh, since we've got the new El Presidente, um, i.e. me, in, uh, uh, in the situation and the turnout was a bit low so I'm wondering is it the fact that it might have been um, uh, that it was focused around bikes or that it wasn't well publicised or are uh, people more interested in the, in, uh, the car aspect? Just so that when we do in the next around the garages, we make sure that we get, we collect all of us up and and uh, and get us to these events. Oh, right. So you're going to say. The only reason I was there was to notice that you went around the day before. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to have to keep something up. Right. Um. I forgot about it until the notice came around on Saturday, and it was just a very full process. Oh, okay. No, no worries. Yes. That same problem occurs if we think with the Melbourne branch as well. The events that are organised by the member don't seem to be published ahead enough. Mm -hmm. um, I, I believe it's not, yeah, whoever organises it, uh, there's, there's no system of making sure that it's actually published, publicised well. So okay, well, we do have the uh, ATA uh, Melbourne EV branch. Um, uh, Facebook page, which uh, I'm not sure if uh, everyone is a face cracker, but um, uh, but notice went up w well ahead of uh, of the event on on uh, that uh, page, and maybe uh, in the future we'll make sure that uh, it goes out into uh, into emails um, uh, as early as possible. Um, to make sure that uh, that everyone gets it, but if you want up to date information, it's it's groundbreaking stuff that's happening. Uh, uh, you know, as we speak, then this is the page. It's also uh, everyone can post stuff on it. So if you've got things you want to say or things you've found or information you want to share, uh, events you want to publicise or whatever, then please go to this site, the ATA Melbourne EV branch, uh, and. Uh, and, and uh, post on there. There's no problem, um, you know, it's not, uh, uh, you know, no one's restricted from putting stuff on it. So just, you know, go crazy. Yes. What if somebody's not on their Facebook and avoids Facebook? <laughs> oh, okay. So what is information there? Um, then, uh, um, well, uh, <laughs> and, uh, well, you know, I suppose we live in an information age where that uh, this is one of the mediums that we use because it does reach so many people. Yeah, this is a suspicious medium. You know, don't, don't you have a dedicated website? You know, like a, you know, it's it's right? yeah. um, it, it is. There is uh, um, uh, um, plans on on putting together a website because we found a, a place where we can do websites really cheap. So uh, put one up. We've actually been waiting for a dedicated page to come up on the ATA uh, website. But uh, that's been taken a, a long time to get uh, uh, under construction, so um, you know we uh, do our best there. Um, if you're um, listed on our email um, list, then uh, we'll endeavour to get uh, um, uh, to post emails um, earlier about events, so that. Uh, if you're two or three days notice, you know, like uh, this is what I talk. Right. And I don't think it's enough. 
I'm sorry, that was just a reminder though. It had been both published in the uh, the previous emails regarding all the meetings of the year, which were sent out last month. Yeah, it has been mentioned several times, but yeah, the reminder could have been a week beforehand instead of a few days beforehand. I apologise, I was extremely busy last so we'll um, do our best to uh, uh, to do that. Um, also, if, um, if, uh, if people have their own networks to be able to publicise uh, um, events that um, we're putting on to get it out there to a, a wider audience, audience that would be much appreciated because like, we are a group and so let's work as a group and everyone put their two cents worth in so we have uh, two Bob to share the, uh, uh, at the end of things. Um, so, because uh, we're all just volunteering, so no one's getting, you know, it, it, no one's getting paid to do it. So just out of love. Um, so if we can all just share the love, um, and uh, you know, in a hygienic way, uh, and uh, and be able to help to grow this movement, because I'm really feeling like there's a groundswell out there that the ED group, uh, that the, the ED movement is really growing. You know, I hear talk about this new lithium air batteries and other things that are happening and uh, you know the price of uh, EVs are now uh, going down. I heard of someone buying a IMEF for $22,000. Um, so you know I really feel that this is starting to build and we can really um, you know um, add to this momentum and keep keep pushing and and, uh, and help direct the EV movement into the directions that we'd like to see it uh, um, expand into. So, uh, you know, it's fantastic we've got so many here um, today. Um, the, um, there's also some future events that I'd like to speak to as well. Um, <clears throat> there's um, Eurisco, which is a, uh, an event that's on at, uh, at the uh, Melbourne Meat Market this Saturday and Sunday, um, where the EV group is going to have a uh, stall um, there. And on Saturday, um, Paul, where are you, Paul? Yeah. Ah, there. Yeah. Paul's uh, the man in charge on Saturday, and on Sunday, um, Robert, who I'm not sure is here, <coughs> um, is going to be on char in charge on Sunday. But what we'd like is um, um, uh, if there could be some more people uh, on the ground, and also we'd love to have a converted EV to to uh, to um, show. And, and to uh, um, put on display a bit of show and tell. Eurisco is uh, basically a, sort of an inventors and innovators fair um, uh, expo. Uh, so um, I think it'd be a good place to uh, uh, for, for there to be an EV presence. And I think that we can uh, we can do that. Unfortunately, I, d I don't have uh, um, an electric car yet. Um, but any of you who might have built one. Uh, and would like to uh, show it off this weekend, um, well, there's an excellent opportunity to, to be able to do that uh, at uh, Eurisco. Uh, if you want to know more about that um, after the meeting, um, speak to Paul or myself or Rebecca at the back there, and uh, we'll point you in the right, right direction and uh, uh, make it as, um, as easy as and enjoyable for you as possible. Um, the other... Um, thing is that um, we have our own um, EV Expo, um, February 23rd. Um, almost confirmed. Almost confirmed. Um, and what, we've, what we want to do is, uh, like we had one um, earlier this year, and uh, we put it together at fairly short notice, uh, and it seemed to be quite popular. Um, we had people who were... Um, uh, coming, we we're going to stay for an hour, end up staying for five. Um, lots of test rides on bikes, um, chance to be able to see um, uh, electric vehicle, electric cars. Uh, there was the Aurora and uh, Crown buses had their um, vehicle there, and um, SAE had their electric car. It was really quite um, uh, quite a good event, and we want to be able to build on that and be able to do something bigger and better. Um, for February, for February next year, and the only way it can be bigger and better is if that we all get involved. It doesn't require us all to do um, to to take on an onerous burden, but 
for us all to be able to chip in. And I suppose um, if you can get involved in the organising um, committee, in the organising meeting, which uh, is on uh, um, this Wednesday, um, this coming Wednesday, uh, starting at... It's next Thursday. Oh, yeah. Okay, well I'll put it, uh, well I'll be turning up on the wrong day. <laughs> uh, I just checked my calendar and it said Wednesday. So, yeah, Thursday the 7th. Um, so, um, and it's 7 o'clock here. Um, so look, we really invite people to, to, to get involved in that because it's the chance to then, um, you know, the last event had some shortcomings in the organisation. Um, and so if more of us can put our heads together to be able to create a better organising structure so that more people can get involved and we can have a better, um, um, better produced event that reaches more people, not just talking to the converted, not, um, but to bring in more people who are uh, inquisitive or um, interested, have a um, you know something to pique the interest to, to go. Okay, well, we want to bring EVs into the mainstream, right? So that people think next time they want to buy a vehicle, the next time they're thinking about transport, they're thinking electric. You know, to spark some ideas, to use that pun, uh, spark some ideas in people's heads. So um, really, you know, this is our this is our chance to shine. Um, you know, we do these monthly seminars, and that's that's good. It's a chance for us to be able to have a bit of tech talk, and uh, you know, to to uh, um, grow the bonds uh, amongst ourselves and get ourselves inspired and motivated and, and keep propelling us on um, to our, on our next project. But here's our chance to be able to reach a greater audience, and really, if um, this is our chance to shine, I really encourage everyone to get involved. Um, we can't have too many in the organising meeting. Um, we can't have too many volunteers on the day. There's not. Um, we can't have too much preparation. Um, just take on what you can. Right? If you can only do an hour, that's fine. If you can only do 15 minutes, that's fine. But we much prefer you 15 minutes than uh, now than having 15 minutes of saying, oh, well, you know what? That was the, the event could have been better because of this and this and this after the event. You know, it's. Everyone can have a chance to have a post-event breakdown if you had the chance to put in the event, uh, put in the effort beforehand. And so I really encourage people to really get involved because um, without all of you, this won't happen. And um, it was such a good event last last year. It showed so much promise that I really um, think that we can we can do something twice as good, reaching. Um, Four times as many people. We've got um, Swinburner on um, here helping us, and they've got um, great, uh, great facilities here for us to take advantage of. So I think that uh, you know we should jump at it. Oh, yes. Um, just at the, at the immediate thing, I guess right now, if anyone wants to any expertise in or experience in seeking grants, any kind of funding for this kind of event, could you please have a word with me afterwards? Um, I won't be hanging around for long afterwards this evening, but please grab me aside and I'd love to uh, share my knowledge about getting some funding for the event. That would be most helpful at the moment. Yes, yes, those people who know how to write words that end up bringing in money, this is an amazing skill. Please, please share it. Share the wealth. Yes, lovely. Um, also, just yes. Uh, just on something Rebecca was saying. Yep. We need about forty people, volunteers. Anyone here uh, at the moment thinking that they might be able to come along and help on the day? It'll be fun. There's one, two, three, four, five. That's a good start. If there are 40 people, it's probably only two hours each. Yeah. Two to three hours, um, and you know, we'll have a fun roll. It'll be fun. Yeah. It'll be as fun. So, Rebecca, yourself, mm -hmm. or myself, just come and have a chat to us, and we'll put your name on the list and see if we can work it out so that we can get across the door. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
can I bring an extra vehicle to? Why not? <laughs> For sure. Absolutely. For sure. Like you know, you bring bring uh, bring your toys about, and uh, and you know, you'll be everyone's friend. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, the other thing is that I've noticed uh, uh, today is uh, tonight is a good turnout, but I've noticed that. Uh, um, over the last few uh, months that there's been a, a bit of a decline in, in attendance and um, I'm just wondering that uh, if uh, if people can uh, let uh, let me know whether it's maybe the structure or it, it, what needs to happen in order to be able to, to um, get more people in is it uh, is it just the phase in the movement or is it the fact that we've changed um, uh, leadership in the, the EV group and so um, Things are different, and you know, uh, whatever it is, if you've got some ideas on how we can bring some people in, or, or some things that you, about the organising or the structure or the topics or whatever that you don't like, um, let me know. Things that you want to want to see, if you want to see um, a different focus or a different direction taken, please let me know because um, uh, myself and the and the committee want to see as many people here involved in this as possible. So um, if if you can give us the feedback, your honest feedback. If you say, "Look, look last month was shit," or, <laughs> or you know, um, whatever, that's okay. You know, take it on the chin. Just want to know so that we can make this the best experience for as many people as possible, so that the movement can grow. Because this is what it's all about. It's about growing this electric vehicle movement, so that this is not in a little room in the university. That in future, right. Uh, um, it'll be the car, it'll be the petrol industry. that will be in a little room like this, and we'll all be out in the, in the mainstream. So the main talk or in town will be EVs, and it'll just be the ICEs, the old ice ages. It'll be sitting here going, "Oh, remember my old petrol car? Yes, I've got a spark plug from 1948." You know, and that sort of stuff. And let them be the side issue, and we'll, we'll be the mainstream because that's what's happening. That's what's going to happen. So let's. Uh, Let's propel that forward as fast as we can. Okay, well, I think I've um, talked enough now. Um, just uh, how much money have we got, uh, dear Mario? Uh, $1,200 uh, we have at the bank. $1,200. Wicked. All right. Uh, just uh, um, any other um, any other things that I need to uh, I need to raise? Oh, yes, there is something I need to raise. Um, over the last year, someone's been working pretty hard on the EV group, um, uh, doing the, the organising uh, and uh, and keeping the thing, keeping the momentum of the group really uh, uh, running, putting a lot a lot of energy in. Um, I know because I've seen them put a lot of energy in, um, and uh, now it's about this time of year where it's time to acknowledge that that um, that energy. And uh, here, in a in a, a very classy bag, <laughs> cost, cost saving. Um, we have uh, the uh, Melbourne Electric Vehicle Branch Chairman's Trophy, and um, uh, two 2011 was uh, for Adrian. Uh, 2012 was Michael Farrell. Uh, 2013 is uh, oh, it's me. No, it's not. No, it's. It's Rebecca Lee, um, our secretary. <laughs> Please uh, come up and uh, accept your um, shield of appeal. <laughs> uh, thanks very much for your, um, for your efforts. I hope you keep um, putting them in because it's been um, holding that EV group together. Um, and uh, well, you guys are worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I really, uh, yeah, I passionately believe in electric vehicles and, and broadening um, the the reach and uh, the number of them on the roads, which I think hopefully most of us are committed to. So um, it's a real pleasure to have been involved in the group. Um, my involvement may decrease slightly um, with a new addition to the family on its way at the moment. So um, you might be seeing less of me next year, but uh, no, my more. passion <laughs> no, no. more of me. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, my passion won't wane, and uh, I hope that there's other people willing to step in for some of the uh, some of the things that I currently do. That would be great. Thank you. Right. Well, now it comes to the uh, 
to the um, to the the spicy uh, part of the evening. Oh yes. There's one more announcement, um, which is that at next month's meeting with the LAGM, um, there are a couple of uh, positions opening up on the committee. So if anyone oh, yes. uh, does recognise a potential to get more heavily involved, that would be another way to do so. There's so, um, your chance to get stuck right in. To uh, pull on the gum boots and uh, and get stuck right into the uh, to the nuts and bolts to the nitty gritty of the uh, of this electric vehicle group. Um, so yeah, AGM next month. So um, um, be prepared to nominate yourself or um, or someone you know. Yes, there's a bit of nudging there. That's very good. <laughs> Um, so yeah, dob your mates in um, before they dob you in. Okay, um, excellent. Okay, and so now um, now we're into the um, what I like to think is the tofu part of the. Oh no, still we're not. Sorry. Yep. Well, there's a, uh, it's, a, um, it's a loss to us uh, that Bryce leaves, but there's an excellent opportunity for one of you to step on up. Yes, uh, so um, uh, yeah, make uh, use of the, of the, the crimpers and uh, grab those EV stickers if you've got uh, a, a car that needs branding. Excellent. All right, now... Um, um, uh, David Jashin, uh, David Jashin, um, director, chief technical officer, and inventor of uh, AxiFlux, um, is here to speak to us. Uh, it's been it's been something that's been on the boil since uh, at least two thousand and eight, uh, and I know bugger all about it. Mm -hmm. But that's soon to change with uh, David uh, enlightening us all in his uh, marvelous invention and. Uh, how that uh, could change the way that uh, that electric vehicles are propelled. So um, um, up to David now. 